hello out there welcome to this tutorial on circle geometry if you are joining us now check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get all the links to other videos on circle geometry in this video we'll be looking at tangent to a circle first consider the diagram below atb touches the circle at t ATB is a straight line. It is called the tangent to the circle at T. So this is straight line. This is circle center O, and a straight line ATB touches the circle at point T. So the say ATB is a tangent to the circle at T. So we look at some theorems on tangent to a circle. A a tangent to a circle is perpendicular to radius drawn through the point of contact. B. The perpendicular to a tangent through the point of contact to a circle passes through the center. So we look at this diagram again. Uh, this is still a circle center O and ATB is a tangent to the circle at T. We draw a line from the center to touch the tangent at the point of contact OT is perpendicular to ATB so that in A a tangent to a circle is perpendicular to radius drawn through the point of contact so OT is radius so it is perpendicular the perpendicular to a tangent through the point of contact the perpendicular to this tangent through the point of contact to a circle passes through the center so it passes through this center so that in any case ot is perpendicular to a b so we look at solving some problems as related to the tangent to a circle so problem one in the diagram ap is a tangent to the circle at a ab is a chord if angle b ap is 43 degrees angle abo is x degrees and angle aob is y degrees find the values of x and y so we look at the diagram carefully in the diagram ap is a tangent to the circle at a ab is a chord b a p b a p is 43 degrees a b o is x degrees and a o b is y degrees so we have to find the values of x and the y first look at the tangent to the circle since OA is a radius and AP is tangent, so OA is perpendicular to AP, so we write OAP, OAP is 90 degrees because OA is perpendicular to AP. OAP is established to be 90 degrees. Um, if you look at this, OA is a radius, OB is also a radius, therefore triangle AOB is an isosceles triangle, so as such AOB is x degrees as well as BAO also x degrees, base angles of isosceles triangle, so from there OAB, OAB, that is the angle here, is 90 minus 43 degrees, and that gives 47 degrees. Therefore, X is equal to 47 degrees. That's isosceles triangle. So from here, we can get the value of Y since X plus X, that's x times 2 plus y gives 180 degrees therefore y will be 180 minus 2 times 47 that is sum of angles of a triangle that will give us 86 degrees so we are done with problem one 
we go ahead to problem 2. For problem 2, a point M is 8 cm from the center of a circle and the length of the tangent from the point of its contact with the circle to M is 6 cm. Calculate the radius of the circle to one decimal place. Hint, M is outside the circle. So from here, we draw the circle center O and uh, a tangent to the circle at point P. Since M is outside the circle, so we locate our M here. And we were told that a point M is 8 cm from the center of a circle. This M is 8 cm. We join OM, which is a... Uh, 8 centimeters from the center of the circle and the length of the tangent from the point of its contact with the circle to M is 6 centimeters so PM is 6 centimeters calculate the radius of the circle to one decimal place and remember OP is radius so we call it a R and based on the theorem under review OP is perpendicular to PM, so we have a OP perpendicular to PM, that is angle at P is 90 degrees, therefore triangle OPM is a right angled triangle. We now apply Pythagoras theorem, so that by Pythagoras theorem, R squared is equal to 8 squared minus 6 squared. That gives 64 minus 36, which gives 28. So that R is square root of uh, 28, which gives 5.2915 centimeters to one decimal place. This is the first decimal place. And since this is 9, so we add 1 to this 3, we have it as 5.3 centimeters to one decimal place so we are done with problem two we go to problem three problem three in the diagram o is the center of the circle pqr and ap is the tangent to the circle at p a if angle pqr is 58 degrees calculate one opr two apr B, if the radius of the circle is 9 cm and AP is 12 cm, calculate AO. Um, starting from A part of the problem, if angle PQR is 58 degrees, PQR, so this angle here is 58 degrees, we have to calculate OPR and APR. OPR, this angle here. Um, we should quickly see that OP is a radius, OR is a radius, therefore triangle OPR is an isosceles triangle. Um, the, if we can calculate this angle, we'll be able to calculate the base angles of the isosceles triangle. And from our previous uh, theorem, we can calculate this angle at the center here, that is angle P O R so that angle P O R is going to be related to angle at the center here which is twice angle at the circumference so we now say 2 times 58 degrees that is angle at center is twice angle at the circumference which gives 116 degrees so from here we can calculate angle O P R OPR. This OPR is base angle to ORP, base angles of isosceles triangle, so that angle OPR will be 180 degrees minus 116 degrees divided by 2 angles of isosceles triangle. This Take it from 180, divide this and this, we get each of this. That will give us uh, 32 degrees. And uh, we go for 
angle APR, APR. So we know that this angle here is 90 degrees. That is OP is perpendicular to AP. That is based on the theorem under review. So from there we say APR will be 90 minus 32 degrees. The reason being AP is perpendicular to OP. And that will give us 58 degrees. And we have done justice to problem 3A. We go to 3B. For 3B, if the radius of the circle is 9 centimeters and AP is 12 centimeters, calculate AO. So to solve this problem, uh, we need to join AO and call it a X since AO is what we are looking for and uh, our AP is 12 centimeters and the radius OP is 9 centimeters. From the right angle triangle APO, we say by Pythagoras theorem, we have a x squared is equal to 12 squared plus 9 squared. 144 plus 81 gives 225. x squared is 225. Therefore, x is square root of 225, which gives 15 centimeters. So we are done with solution to problem 3. We go to problem 4. For problem 4, in the diagram, O is the center of the circle and PM equal to 12 centimeters is the tangent to the circle at P. If OM is 13 centimeters, calculate the area of the shaded part correct to the nearest 0.1 squared centimeters. Take pi to be 3.142. From here, uh, we quickly see that this uh, OP is perpendicular to PM. So that one is established based on the theorem under review. To calculate the area of the shaded part, we need to calculate the area of the triangle and calculate the area of the sector. Their difference will give us the area of the shaded portion in the diagram. So here we need to find the value of this height of the triangle, which is the radius. So by Pythagoras theorem, we have a R squared to be 13 squared minus 12 squared. And that will give us 169 minus 144, which is 25. And the R is square root of 25, which gives 5 centimeters. We are done. And also to enable us to calculate the area of this sector, we need to know the angle of this sector. And to calculate the angle of the sector, we'll be looking at opposite and hypotenuse. That is sine. So we have a sine theta is equal to opposite 12 over hypotenuse 13. And 12 over 13 gives 0.9231. So theta is sine inverse of 0 0.9231 from a calculator or mathematical table. Theta is equal to 67.38 degrees. So we've gotten everything needed to calculate the area of the shaded part. And we have earlier established that the area of the shaded part is the area of the triangle minus area of the sector. And that will give us an uh, area of triangle is half base times height. That will be half times 12 times 5. Since the height is 5. Minus area of sector is theta over 360 pi r squared. So our theta is 67.38 over 360 times pi which is 3.142 times r squared and our r is 5 so times 5 squared this is uh, half of 12 is 6 times 5 gives 30 minus 14.702 this can be obtained from our calculator which gives 15.298 squared centimeters 
and to the nearest 0 0.1 square centimeters that's one decimal place we have it at 15.3 squared centimeters and we have done justice to problem four this is the highest we can go in this tutorial thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this next circle theorem on the next video remember to check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get all the links to other videos on circle theorem until we come your way again goodbye